Torres can be described as a pompous romantic person and the fear of all defenses. Above all, he is one of the players that most football fans love and adore, a special legend. Fernando Torres is a name that has made millions of hearts sob. From the cold finishings to the killer instincts, he makes every defender very cautious, and the blonde hair flies with every step of his run. All these attributes are imprinted on the minds of football fans all over the world. After a glorious career of 18 years, as well as experiencing low notes in his career, the Spanish legend has announced his retirement from football at the age of 35. In the empire that Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo have built over the last decade, people always ask, who can break it? Who can approach the level of these two football greats? The answer is none other than Fernando Torres, who, if not frequently injured, would have finished his career in an even greater way. Normally, people will need time to train themselves to become a superstar player. El Nino's success at an early age was a great advantage for the boy born in Fuenlabrada, Spain. Torres won his first title with Atletico's youth team when he joined the U15 team in the Nike Cup. Even though he was a teenager and small, he was voted as a best player in the Cup. When he was only 19, El Nino was the chosen one to wear the captain's armband in Atletico Madrid. This club is where he cultivated his talents and was also the bridge that brought him to Liverpool on July 5th of 2007. The day El Nino arrived at Allfield Stadium, all eyes were on the young star who confirmed his talent in La Liga. Fernando Torres started to become a real nightmare for all Premier League defenders at that time. Although he had just arrived, it seemed no one could stop him from scoring. In his first season, in the harshest arena on the planet, Torres scored 33 goals in just 46 games. El Nino leveled the record of the legend Robbie Flower with scoring in nine consecutive matches for Liverpool. In that season, he was only behind Cristiano Ronaldo in terms of scoring. People started to talk to each other about an assassin who destroyed many teams, a bloody scorer wearing the red shirt of the cop. If you want to know about Torres' ability, just ask Nemanja Vidic, the legendary central defender of Manchester United who was once a victim of El Nino. That is a situation which went into football history and the most embarrassing moment of Vidic's career. Man United lost to Liverpool 1-4, and that loss all came from just one name. Fernando Torres. Vidic is considered one of the best central defenders in that time. With a great one-on-one -on -one ability, not afraid to collide, he was a great wall for Man U. Torres was a completely different story for Vidic when El Nino was still in Liverpool. The times when the two confronted each other, it seemed that it was not a well-matched duel. Torres was too superior and consistently made Vidic suffer in the one-on-one -on -one phase. That story is probably what the legendary Man United defender does not want to talk about at all. During the years he devoted to the cop, Torres was always the biggest idol for those who loved Liverpool at the time. Despite the title drought, the supporters were not disappointed because they knew the team still has El Nino. In addition to his outstanding career in Liverpool, Fernando also shined brightly in the Spanish national team. He was the decisive goal scorer for Spain at the Euro 2008 final against Germany. Thereby, he was voted as the best player of that match, bringing Spain their second European championship. After that, Torres was a feature of the Spanish national team in the Euro tournament in Austria and Switzerland. And not only that, but El Nino and Spain got to the World Cup in 2010. Fernando Torres is a unique talent. I feel very confident and completely comfortable playing with him. He can do amazing things, and to be honest, he and I are a perfect duel. His teammate in the national team, David Villa, has said this about Torres. The man born in 1984 has achieved his childhood dream. He became an excellent striker, like the Tsubasa character in the comic, a character he admired as a kid, and this Japanese comic book series inspired him. But after the brilliance of his career, the spotlight began to dim for Torres. Since the day he moved to Chelsea, people no longer see Torres as the one who used to be a nightmare of the England defense. He slowly lost his ability in the new shirt color. Perhaps his best quintessence was left in Liverpool as injuries have begun to appear more frequently for Torres. 
He is no longer himself like in the old days. His scoring performance has plummeted to only two-tenths of a goal per game, much less than the six-tenths when he was playing for the cop. The record 50 million pound transfer price became a weight for Torres. In one match, he missed the opportunity to score when he kicked the ball out after he went through the goalkeeper. And since that day, Fernando Torres had to take a long time to appear again in the national team shirt. Coming to Chelsea, Torres has two England championships in 2011 and 2012 and an FA Cup. But these are trophies that Torres could not have had during the peak of his performance at Anfield. But now, the spirit of the assassin has gone because a part of his soul has forever closed with the cop. While sporting another red color at AC Milan, those who love him hope he can regain his form. So far, this has not been the case. Out of frustration, he faded away at Serie A and returned to Atletico's arms, the team that has nurtured him since he was a teenager. Back to the old house where thousands of fans worshipped him when he was just a 19-year-old player, he understood that there was no place like the place he called home. Though he cannot play as well as he did in the past, all those in the stands still shouted his name. Perhaps injustice always came to him in different ways. He was injured when he was young, he lost two front teeth, and then gave up the position of goalkeeper. The match between Atletico and Deportivo in early 2017 almost took his life. He fell to the ground because of a brain injury, but more than that, he almost bit his own tongue. If his teammate Gabi could not put his finger into Torres' mouth to stop it, Torres could have possibly died. Tears fell all over the stands and people prayed for him all over the world. Fortunately, he passed the danger to return to the pitch, as well as the way he never surrendered to fate despite the decline of his performance. After spending time with Sendancuso in the J-League, the legendary Fernando Torres made his decision to end his 18-year career in football. I have something very important to be informed about. After 18 exciting years, it is time for me to close my football career. This Sunday morning, I will hold a press conference to explain more about my decision. He shared this on his page. El Nino's life is like a concert with high notes, but many low notes. People will always remember a legend that has captivated so many hearts, a famous assassin. The 21st century with iridescent blonde hair used to be the scare all over England and Spain. We will remember him forever and his moments in football. The moment he passed Vidic and scored against van der Sar. The moment he was the leader of the team that beat Real Madrid 4 to nothing at Anfield. Or the moment he scored against Barcelona to lead the team to the Champions League final will be forever in the minds of all soccer fans. Despite losing his form, he is always loved and idolized for all football fans in general and for those who have fought with him. Torres has received all the glory with a lifetime of a player. Champions League, Euro, World Cup, Premier League. Even if he did not lose his form or faced many injuries, he could completely become a challenge to the empire of Messi and Ronaldo. After all, people will always remember El Nino, the guy from Spain with the number nine on his back. Thank you for your contribution to world football, Fernando Torres.